There goes my brain. <laughs> I think that's the last thing that I said. I really don't know. But, yeah, this camera has the habit of coming apart because the battery got dislodged. And if I don't tape it back with electrical tape, it, it doesn't it doesn't stay attached and then that happens and the camera will randomly cut off but I'm not getting another camera fuck that it's like little stuff like okay so so uh, you know like if, if I'm inconvenienced or Say like I have a a sock that has a hole in it or something. Like I won't throw that sock away. Like I'm I'm the type of person that you know I'll keep something forever, even if it's like all torn and decrepit. I don't care. It it actually just it, ha it has more character to me. That's how I look at it. But the more damaged something is, the more I like it. The more I appreciate it. But. I mean, so many people, they just got to have, like, the, the new thing, the hip thing. Uh, ooh, this is, this is fancy, you know? They don't appreciate any of it, because then they got to get the next new thing, the next fancy thing. It's all about trying to be relevant. It's all about trying to be cool. It's all about fitting in. These people are so fucking boring. Ugh, materialism is one of the most disgusting things about America. But, uh, yeah, so I was trying to address this problem in my previous video where I was talking about how I just have all these thoughts and um, it's really hard for me to, to put them all together because they're just that many. And uh, I wish that, like, sometimes I wish that it was just slightly less, you know? Like, if I could just have... 150 less thoughts every day. I might be able to accomplish things, you know? <laughs> 150. Yeah, dude, I mean, if that lets you know just how many thoughts I have and how fast they go, I mean, it's frustrating, but it's just the way it is. It's the way I've always been. And it wasn't until, like, I started doing stand-up comedy where it uh, really made sense to me. Yes, you are being fed. Hushity hush. Hush. But, uh, yeah, with comedy, like, you don't have to do transitional material. You can just, you know, randomly start talking about something else. And it, it's funny, you know, just changing the subject on a whim. Especially if you go from talking about something really depressing to talking about something really lighthearted. Or vice versa. It, it's hilarious. You know, like say I went from talking about poop to talking about, you know, like rape. You know, like that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> People shouldn't get offended by that. Because obviously, you know, I'm trying to talk about something that's important. And I'm using humor to do it. And... Rather than make everything all serious, the reason why we don't talk about things is because everybody's all serious. Nobody can laugh. Everybody's uncomfortable. Well, comedy, I think. Oh shit, my portable snarl marks. <laughs> Come on, snarl. <laughs> See, look, there he is.
but uh yeah it's like people don't want to talk about things that make them uncomfortable and because of that you know the same shit keeps happening over and over again and I'll talk about it I'll more than happily bring that shit up because I do want to make people uncomfortable. I, I want people to think about stuff that's horrible. I mean, I think about this kind of stuff all the time, man. It's like my head is just filled with, with nothing but unwanted thoughts, okay? And I realize that a lot of these unwanted thoughts are, you know, very accurate, unfortunately. But... I, uh, I feel like I'm one of the few that can actually handle them, and I know what they're for. And I, I, I really believe that if the majority of people in Western civilization had the kind of information that I have, they would probably commit suicide because it's really terrible. And it's a lot easier to just live in this little bubble where you don't have to be reminded of how horrible everything really is. But that's why I do comedy, to remind you. <laughs> Man, Bill Hicks wasn't a happy comic. George Carlin wasn't a happy comic. They spooked truth to power. They did. And so that's why all these people that thought that they were speaking truth to power, you know, that's kind of ridiculous. You can't speak truth to power on the left. That's kind of ridiculous. I know I just said ridiculous. I said that twice. No, I said it three times. <laughs> Well, the thing is, I, I think that you could back then, like back in the 60s, you could because it was a lot different now that liberalism means communism. Um, like it's finally like gotten to that point. Like none of these pieces of shit know what the truth is. And if they don't know what the truth is, then they definitely don't know who's really in charge. So, you know, it's just... It's just kind of silly that th these people think that they're saying anything that matters because it seems like people just want a virtue signal. But if you speak actual truth to actual power, you're definitely not virtue signaling. <sighs> You'll probably just get murdered. I don't know. I don't know if that'll happen with me. I think I'm a little too crazy for people to believe me. I just have to act as much like Alex Jones as possible. You know? <laughs> I don't like him, by the way. A lot of people are going to assume that I do. I mean, I, just because I agree with him doesn't mean... It's like... I feel like so many people... Uh, that That want to make it seem like oh they're fighting they're they're fighting the the system they're fighting the man they're they're uh doing it for the people they're they're trying to help the the little guy i guarantee you that like the majority of those people are also lying sacks of shit so just because like you're not in the mainstream media doesn't mean that you're also not a lying sack of shit you could just be controlled opposition. Now, I don't know, but it's like, it, it's just a, a suspicion that I have, you know, and so, hello. Hi, Arlo. My suspicions are usually accurate, too. So, 
I just really hate it when people aren't real. You know, and it it really bothers me that, that so many people like they're so distrustful of of the mainstream that they they might trust somebody that is is also lying. You know, ju oh, just because they're not the mainstream, that that doesn't mean that you know they're any better. Like even if they say stuff that you agree with, even if they say stuff and you you think oh well, they're they're on my team, no, honey. Stop thinking that there are teams. Like people need to stop looking at everything like it's a fucking sport. <laughs> But, yeah, man, I just, uh, I'm just over it. I'm over everything. <laughs>